What it is, YouTube community, man. My name is Raphael, aka Ganasco, and I am back with another YouTube video, man. You guys already know what it is, what it was, and what it wasn't, man. We is back at it, like them up, and crack at it, man. Shout out to Tony D2 Wild, man. Listen, dog. Uh, as you guys can tell by the video, man, this video is exposing me for exposing GOAT. And I'm just wrong. You feel me? I was just wrong this whole time, and I, I didn't, uh, you know, thank God I was, but, you know, I'll get into it and things along those lines. First things first. Well, actually, first thing, you know, as you guys can tell by the merch, shout-outs to Culture. My boy just uh, dropped his album, Me Vs. Me. It's on all platforms. If you guys want to go ahead and check that out, you know what I'm saying? No sponsorship required, you know what I mean? Just go ahead, show love if you guys want to. If you guys don't, well, you know, we understand in this world. But nonetheless, um, first things first. I am currently 16 subscribers away from um, 200 subs. Let's make that happen. You know what I'm saying? Let's make that happen. Uh, you know, blessings. You feel me? I'm excited to get to that 200 mark. You know, it's just going to mean a lot, of course. But um, not only that, after we reach 200 subs, uh, I will be doing a giveaway. I'll be doing two giveaways, as a matter of fact, for 200 subs. Reason being is because I didn't give a giveaway on the very first time that I hit uh, 100 subs. So once we hit 200, you know, whenever that'll be tonight. No, I get it. Uh, you feel me? Within the next couple of videos or next couple of months or whenever it happens, you know what I'm saying? Like whenever it does happen, it's going to be a giveaway. Pretty small giveaway, but it's going to be a giveaway you feel me, for two, you, two of you guys out there. And uh, I'm just really excited for that. So, um, yeah. Moving on, as you guys know, um, after my previous video, which did well, by the way. So, thank you guys so very much for that. That video did really good view-wise and things along those lines. And so, yeah, I really, really do appreciate that. But with that video, you know, uh, I had purchased my Shattered Bad Boy 3.0s and thought that they were fake. I say thought because... And this is a good thing. This is why I wanted to drop that video too. I was hoping for somebody to, to do this. And it wasn't just somebody or someone. It was a couple of you guys out there. So shout out to y'all. I appreciate y'all much. A couple of you guys out there hit me up and let me know like, yo, bro, I think you tripping. You know, like, them things is real. I ain't trying to listen to y'all. You feel me? Like, I know what I'm talking about. You, know, you feel what I'm saying? But... Nah, nah, I was incorrect. It seems to be the case. I, I definitely was incorrect about the shoes uh, this whole time. So after you guys was hitting me up, one person in particular who was the first person that hit me up uh, is actually a, a sneaker reseller that I know personally from out my way. And uh, he hit me up like, yo, bro, you tripping. Them things is real, bro. And you know what I mean? It was, we were just talking about it and I was letting him know all the reasons why I personally don't believe that they were real. And he wasn't giving me no explanation back. He was just like, they real. That's all he was saying. And now he wanted to buy it off me and all this extra crap. And so, uh, and, and a deal was gonna get done and I was gonna sell these things for a very, very low price because I thought that they were fake. I'm not going, you know what I mean? Do nobody dirty like that. Thank God I didn't though, because boy, that would have been a waste of $400, ain't it? So after you guys were hitting me up and letting me know about myself, um, I went ahead and I did some extra research, right? Which I already was doing for the shoes, you know, to make sure, but I did some extra research and come to find out, this is a big problem within the sneaker community right now with these bad boys right here. The Air Jordan 1 Shattered Backboard 3.0s. Everyone has been going through the same experience that I have been going through. And I had no, no idea it was like that. And it's only for these particular shoes and, um, Shout out to Bobby Swerrier. I'll probably have his name up here. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to him. Uh, his video helped me out a whole lot. He went through the same situation as me, basically. But, uh, you know, he was a sneaker reseller. So he bought in a, a bunch of pairs of the Air Jordan uh, 1 Shatter Batboard 3.0s from StockX. He ended up ordering over 12 pairs. And a couple of them ended up looking different to him. Just like my situation. Uh, except I ain't buying no 12 pairs, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm human, you, you feel me? But, yeah, dude bought, like, 12 pairs, so, you know, shots to him. But uh, a couple of his pairs was looking different. So, anyway, long story short, he got to the bottom of it. Uh, the whole comment section was rocking with him. They was like, yeah, bro, they real, blah, blah, blah. So, basically, some of his boxes came in looking like mines. You feel me? No suggested retail tag, of course. 
But as you guys can see, um, it says made in China down here. I, I, I was so judgmental and that's on my part and I really apologize for that, y'all. I was just so mad that I felt like these were fake that every little thing I started pointing out as if they were fake and I was just incorrect about that the whole time, y'all. The box is good, the box feels good. It does feel like my other Air Jordan 1 boxes. After the video, I checked that out, so I was wrong about that. But as you guys know, I was a little curious because of this um, Chinese little sticker thing, whatever, they, that card that they had down there and also the card that comes in the shoes right here. And come to find out, from his video and me actually taking my stuff to get checked out, come to find out, that's just what happens when your shoes come from overseas, right? Same kind of situation if you guys remember from my Carmine 6 video. And so, uh, yeah, man, I mean, you know, these came from overseas, they, they were made in China, and I thought that these shoes in particular, a bunch of my Jordans are made in China, that's where Jordans are usually made at. However, these ones in particular, as far as I was concerned, was made in Vietnam. So that gave me the ultimate red light, like, bro, these is fake, you feel me? Like, little things like that. And uh, I was just incorrect, man, like, whole time, if the ones that's made in Vietnam were specific pairs made for the US. They were made for the US, you know what I'm saying? So the ones that you get from the stores out here and things like that would say made in Vietnam. However, the other Nike out, I mean, I mean stores and factories, whatever they got to process the shoes and make the shoes, if they came from overseas, they're gonna come in looking like this, made in China, like the rest of my Air Jordan 1 boxes. However, you know, add this and, you know, other stuff. So I was incorrect about that. Long story short, check out that video if you guys want to. He explained it perfectly to perfection. And uh, he really helped me out a lot there. So I started to really question myself and say, yo, are these things right here, these Air Jordan 1 shattered backboards, legit? You know what I'm saying? I started to really question myself because as I said in the video, as you guys know, these shoes look great. The stitching is A1. The logo is A1. The the uh, the quality of the materials is A1. Remember how I was tripping out over the tongue being lopsided like this? Come to find out, they all come like this. Wow, you know what I'm saying? My other Air Jordan ones came in kind of like this. Like, so I, I just thought, you know what I'm saying? You feel me? Just looking at that, that that was off. However, if you were to search up the Air Jordan 1 Shattered Batboard 3.0s, you guys would see that they're all, all the pictures would show it looking like this. And uh, he, all his pairs, uh, that Bobby guy, you know, all his pairs came in looking just like this. So, um, so this was nothing to worry about. The tag itself, I thought it was hard and all of that. I compared it to my other Air Jordan ones. Bro, they are made out of the same exact quality. That is how the tag is supposed to look. The back of the tongue as well. That tag is in perfect print. You know, I was just tripping out. Uh, a good sign to tell if your shoes is real or fake is this uh, little tab down here. If it's much longer than it needs to be, like longer down here or something, usually that indicates that it's fake. And, and uh, these are really, really short. So there's a bunch of things about the shoe that personally had me feeling like these shoes are real, but it was the box itself, y'all. The way the box looked to me just wasn't right. Uh, a big thing, and I still feel fishy about this, is this. A QR code, man, it has a bunch of white lines going through it, and I just think that that shouldn't look like that. But uh, long story short, y'all, what I did was I ended up going to um, a couple places to get my shoes authenticated. So the first place I went to was a place called Reup. Uh, it's a reselling store around my way and things along those lines, which um, they authenticated the shoes for me. They said it was real. First off, dude was kind of rude, you know what I'm saying? Dude was kind of rude. He was, you know, I walked in there, he goes, uh, first off, he was talking to somebody the whole time. They weren't even purchasing nothing. I was just waiting behind dude, and he was like, all of a sudden, he was just like, uh, what you want? And I'm like, I'm like, shoot, I can't even get my shoes authenticated, you know what I'm saying? Things along those lines, I said, all right, let me see the shoes. He pulled them out the box, he looking at the shoes, he looking around at it, that's it, just, you know, visually and all that, looking at everything. Blah, 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 everything checks out. He goes, what's so fake about him? Like, I'm just like, dude, that's what I came here for you. To, to, you know what I mean? You tell me what's so fake about him. Because me personally, I got my reasons. So I explained all the reasons to him as to why I thought they were fake. Here, here was the big thing for me. That was the biggest thing for me. 
And uh, and he was just like, yeah, I mean, what are you talking about? Like, he was kind of rude, bro, like, for real. Uh, so he called somebody else over to go ahead and check out the shoes. And he handed the shoes over to the dude. Uh, that dude was much nicer, but this dude um, that was rude gave him the box and everything. He said, yeah, I mean, he thinks the shoes are fake. They look great to me. I don't know what he's talking about. The QR code, you know what I'm saying? He, he has a problem with it. I don't know why. I mean, they, they come in like that sometimes. I don't know what he's talking about. And I'm just like, what's up with folks? Like, what are you trying to get into? You know what I'm saying? What you, what you, what you, you know what I mean? Who, what's your name? You feel me? Like, I don't know. Dude was on some weird stuff, but other dude checked it out. You know what I'm saying? And um, he did a black light test on it and everything. Now, black lights do help out a whole lot. That doesn't necessarily mean that your shoes, if you find nothing on the shoe, that it's just automatically real. However, that's a perfect sign. And he checked it out and there was no stamps, no nothing around my shoes. So that's good. The stitching didn't pop out all crazy. That's good. Um, basically, he, he indicated that the shoes were real as well. I went to another store called uh, 302 Gallery, I believe, another reselling store. And they came back saying that they were real as well. So I was just wrong here, y'all. And I apologize because I put out the wrong information, but sometimes you're just wrong. Um, I just thought like a big thing was this, the, the lace bag for me. I told you guys that the lace bag should be longer with a black Jumpman logo uh, in front with a, like a red like line going up here or whatever. Incorrect. That's only for the Vietnam pairs. I got a pair that was made in China. So therefore, again, it's all the same real quality stuff. The shoe is great, but China just brings it in like this while Vietnam bring it in the other way. So things like that is just where I just thought that the shoes were were, were fake, you know what I'm saying? And fake is the wrong word to use. I thought that the shoes were UAs rather. I talked about UAs before. I'm not gonna get too heavy into it right now because the video is already as long as it needs to be. But um, I thought that these were UAs, unauthorized, authentic. And um, I guess I was wrong. I guess that these shoes are legit. And I'm, I'm glad. I'm happy about that, y'all. Like, I don't mind being wrong, bro. I'm, I was hoping somebody would have called me out. Like, yo, bro, them things are real. Because I spent 400 on these things. And I love these shoes so much. And, like, I'm just excited to rock these things now. You know what I mean? Like, I'm just, I'm happy, bro. Like, I didn't waste my, my money. But as you guys can see, man, the stitching around is just perfect. Stitching all over the shoe is perfect. Obviously, this going above the stitching uh, above the Nike swoosh is going above it, how it should be. Um, everything, bro, great quality. It's just sock liner is pretty, uh, how it should be, type skinny. Like other ones, like really, really fat. That's fake that I've seen. Um, just everything about the shoe is, is really, really good. The bottom of it, the stars, it's just. Uh, go around how it should be uh, for some fake ones that I've seen they've been all um, for the fake ones that I've seen they they all like uh, were inconsistent the stars were like all over the place and it was just bad so the bottom of it looks great um, the insole looks great the shoe tree is all good I mean everything about the shoe the back of the shoe as you guys can see the back of it with the nice pinch that hourglass look at the at the back of the shoe everything just just pans out how it should you know what I'm saying and the shoe just looks it looks great and um, I'm just glad for it. So, you know, just to do a little bit of, of a review on it since I didn't do it last time. These shoes are the Air Jordan 1 Shatter Backboard 3.0s, as you guys can see. When these shoes first came out, everyone was dogging them. Didn't nobody like these shoes. They were like, bro, it looked like trash bags up here and all this extra crap. I personally fell in love with them from the very beginning. Um, it, it's just, it's tough to me, actually. So, um... Just to give you guys a little history story on these, uh, the Air Jordan 1 Shattered Backboard, the original one, came out June 27th of 2015. Uh, that was the original release date for those. Those happen to be my favorite shoes of all time. Now, I cannot afford them things. They go for over $2,000. So, I ain't getting them things anytime soon, at least. Um, but anyway, um, these are the third installment of the Air Jordan 1 Shattered Backboard, and which was um, influenced by... Uh, an exhibition game that Michael Jordan played in Italy, which was uh, August 25th, 1985, which was at, after his rookie season. He played in, in an exhibition game in Italy and he wore his Air Jordan 1s. They weren't the Shattered Backboards. I believe they were the Chicago ones he wore, but their jersey number and all and their jersey colors and stuff was orange and black. That exhibition he played in in Italy. You know what I'm saying? And in that game, he ended up dropping 30 points. You know, he, he went off. 
and he ended up um, dunking on one play, and, and he just broke, he shattered the glass. You know what I'm saying? He shattered the backboard, right? Hence, the Air Jordan 1 shattered backboard. And these are the third installment. The second one was the Air Jordan 1 shattered backboard 2.0, which was also called the reverse shattered backboards. They were basically the, uh, the shatter backboards, but all orange. They were all orange and white. I didn't really like those too much. They also came out with a woman's version, which is just like the original Air Jordan 1 shatter backboard, but it was called satin because it was in that satin material um, for the woman. And then this is the third installment, the Air Jordan 1 shatter backboard. And as, as I just told you guys where the name came from, he broke the backboard. These shoes were made... People were like asking, why isn't this just all leather or just make it a glossy finish, no crinkled leather underneath. But the inspiration behind that is to actually make it look like it was actually shattered glass. You know what I'm saying? I think that that's so fire to me personally. Um, you guys let me know how you feel. But yeah, it's supposed to resemble shattered glass. I don't know if that's gonna look like that to y'all. It could still look like trash bags to y'all, but me personally, I see it. It looks like shattered glass all over the shoe, which is which is fire to me, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it's absolutely fire. So what they did was they had tumbled, crinkled leather underneath of this patent leather that they put over top, which creates that glossy finish, and now it looks sort of like shattered glass. So that's where that came from, and I just love the orange on black color scheme. It's one of my favorite color schemes ever. I love the cream. It isn't a cream, it's a vanilla uh, midsole. Uh, I wish they would have done something different, like an all-white midsole with the cream or vanilla rather outsole or vanilla midsole with an all white outsole or black rather a black oh a black outsole would have been beautiful with this actually a black bottom with uh, that vanilla midsole um that would have been perfect but however I, I do still love these shoes these are actually one of my favorite shoes of all time these are my second favorite shattered backboard shoes so i'm just glad to have them in my possession i'm glad to know that these things are real also and i'm just i'm blessed y'all i'm so blessed i'm so happy um you guys don't understand i wish i could go over every single little detail about the shoes with you guys uh just so i can prove to you guys that these are indeed legit at least you know that's what i'm being told um the box there, there was something that i learned about the box um to see if the box is legit as well I, you know we got the stamp in there that's a very good sign but what people do is they scratch the box right and then see if any like debris is left on their nails i felt air Jordan one boxes like that so uh not mine personally so I definitely know what they're talking about. If you scratch it and it's just clean and nothing coming off, which nothing comes off of this one, your box is legit, your box is good. And that was the main part that had me thinking that my shoes were fake, y'all, was the box. I thought that the box was completely off. The scratch test is something that you guys all need to do, man. Um, if you guys wanna legit check your own sneakers, these things came in legit. I'm glad, I'm blessed, I'm happy, y'all. You guys, you guys don't understand, bruh. Yeah, man, I'm, I'm just, I'm blessed. I don't, I don't know what else to tell you guys. Thank you guys so very much, man, for, for, um, for a shot. You know what I mean? Hit me up and let me know, you know, how y'all felt about the shoes, things like that. Cause you guys made me, I was going to just sell the shoes for a very low price. I was just going to sell them for, for, for the low, yo. Cause I thought that they were fake. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but shout out to you guys. Cause you guys made me do a little bit more research on the shoes. I found so much out, man. Like these shoes. All real pairs aren't just made in Vietnam. You can get them made in China. You know, it depends on where the shoe was actually made. So all this, you know, people have authentic shoes with this card right here and the card that comes inside of the box as well. The box itself is, um, the box itself is really good. It's, it's, it feels just like my other boxes. Again, my biggest issue still, still would be this QR code. I just don't think it should be like that with the white lines going through it. But that's literally my only, my only gripe about the shoe, so, and it's on the box, so I gotta just stop being picky and, and, and don't just say that the shoe is just completely fake because of one problem, like, you know, you can buy a thousand pairs of these shoes and every single pair is gonna look different. They're not made exactly alike. They're not gonna look exact, even a shade of a color could be off from, you, you can get it from the same exact spot, the same exact mall, or wherever you're gonna get your shoes from, and they're gonna look different in some sort of way. So, you know, I was just being very picky, y'all. I was very hurt, I was very upset because, you know, as you guys know, these are one of my favorite shoes of all time. And uh, again, it just hurts so bad to know that, 
or at least think that my shoes were fake and I spent, you know, some bread on it, you feel me? So, um, you know, I, I was wrong, y'all. I was wrong. By the way, I, I uh, contacted GOAT right after uh, the video, of course, that I, that I did for you guys. I contacted GOAT right after and they just kept trying to, they, they responded to me, you know, fairly fast. So I appreciate that. And they responded to me, you know, basically telling me, hey, we go through this, you know, I, I'll probably show some of the screenshots or whatever on screen. But, you know, um, we go through this rigorous or vigorous, you know what I'm saying, uh, authentication process and trust us, you know, these shoes are legit. You know, we, we do our research. We, you know, we're, we're a team of professionals here. And I still think that they can get it wrong. Don't let this video act as if GOAT or StockX won't sell you fake shoes because guess what? It's happened to multiple people before. It, it, it is a thing, it could happen. Uh, so don't just lose sight of that, y'all. However, I was incorrect about my shoes. My shoes did come in legit and um, I'm blessed for that. So um, I still will be rocking these for the concert. By the way, the concert was postponed, man. Unfortunately, I was so upset about that, but it was postponed for later this month. It will be August or my goodness, I'm going back in time, my boy. Uh, October 27th will be the new uh, date for the J. Cole concert. So I will be rocking these to the concert. And um, man, I'm just talking too much. I, I'm just so emotional. I don't know what to say here. I just feel like I'm missing a bunch of points and I was just blabbering on. But if you guys got through this video, I love you guys. I love you guys regardless. God bless all you guys, you know what I'm saying? Thank you guys so very much for watching this video. Uh, uh, leave a like, add a comment, subscribe to my YouTube channel, y'all. I love you guys. God bless you guys, and I'm out.